Well, after nearly a year uh, of being out and about and on the ground and in the areas that the witnesses have uh, reported their sightings, I think it's, to me, there's, there's absolutely no doubt. There is no doubt that there's something inhabiting certain places in, in Great Britain for sure. Now, whether this is uh, Gigantopithecus, whether it's an un, something unknown, whether it's an, an, another ancient ancestor, we, ju we just don't know that. Right at this moment in time, for me, as a filmmaker, that's not really important. What's important is documenting the evidence because uh, although we've got uh, two or three researchers like Charmaine Fraser, Deborah Hatswell, Adam Bird, and, and others that, I, that I, I haven't mentioned, they've been collecting data for decades. Uh, and they've done a fantastic job. There are other bits of data now that we're coming across. Uh, the, the tree structures, the tree glyphs, uh, the ground sticks, uh, and other signs that we're probably not even aware of or not enough data has been collated to, to even make sense of it. This film, Elusive, is really about uh, pushing and being the, 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 the motivator, the, the, the fuel on the fire, so to speak to get people out in the woods and get people researching. The existence of something that you're not aware of, I mean, I mean, this is a threat on people's ego as well. I think that's where the science comes in. The fact that something can remain unseen, we're the lords and masters and we, we would have seen this creature by now, it's ludicrous. It's just nonsense. And the only way that you can find out and really appreciate how nonsensical that is, is by getting out in the woods and by getting out in the woods and in the remote parts of, of Britain and experiencing it for yourself because then you'll realize that existing out here is so easy and the whole food source uh, myth about there not being enough food out there is just absolute rubbish it's absolute rubbish